Hey you guys, okay, um, today I'm filming just a little mini haul for some stuff that I got um, at Target. And sorry for the webcam filming, I know it's kind of crappy, but videos upload so so much quicker when they're done by webcam. I don't know if that's what, the same with you guys, but when I like upload a video after I edit it and everything from my camera, it takes forever. But, yeah, let me move this that way. Okay. So I do have a shirt on, so I'm just going to sit kind of close. Um, I'm going to start off with non-beauty related stuff. I got this little Tupperware thing for only a dollar at Target. And this yes, it's for forks and spoons and knives, but when all this stuff was in a drawer, it would roll everywhere. It might get on my nerves, so this is a whole lot more convenient and a whole lot organized. And then I got this makeup bag. It's a Hello Kitty one. It's so cute. Huh? It's um, It was $10, but it also comes with a little mini one. I already have my makeup and everything all in here. So that's that. And then I finally got Eagle Tools brushes. I got the little ones. You know, I was kind of iffy about buying the big ones because there wasn't really... I didn't really like the brushes, like the variety that it came with. It's just mainly face brushes. Um, so yeah, this was $8 for five brushes and they're really good brushes. They're so soft and also it comes in a little carrier like this. It's so cute and like, so you could take it anyway. It's so cute. And then, um, I always stop and look at NYC. Um, I got this, I took everything out of the package cause I'm refilming this video. <laughs> um, but this is the, um, City Curls from NYC. And this was only like two something, which is really good. Um, I only got it because you know how people say that when you have your mascaras for up to three months, it starts to go bad. Well, I'm about to hit that mark. So that's why um, I bought a new mascara, just to be safe. I will get a whole lot more next time. But yeah, um, I picked up another liquid liner and this one's from NYC. I used to have a different one than this. Um, I didn't really like it though, because when it dried, it would like flake off. But this one I used today, I just have eyeliner on, and it's really, really good. From me only using it one time, I really like it. I would um, recommend this to anyone. It was only like two something as well. And then lashes, of course. I love buying lashes from NYC because they're nice and thick. They're thicker than the um, e.l.f. ones. I don't really like the e.l.f. ones. They look kind of weird. Um, speaking of e.l.f., um, their books like this are on clearance. I don't know if that's like it at all targets, but if they are, you should go check because you think you're saving money just by buying this for $5. It's on sale for, let me try to get it, for $3.50. And this is the um, neutral eye edition. And it comes with these gorgeous colors. And then just the side tells you like looks you can do and everything. And then um, I got the cream liner. I have like two other cream liners, but um, people have been raving that the brush that comes with this right here, it's really good. So that's what, the only reason what stopped me from using cream liner is that I couldn't find a really good brush. Um, and I didn't really know how to look for them, you know? So I wanted to give this a try. And this is from their studio line, so it was only $3. Um... Also, Physician's Formula is on clearance, and you guys know they, they're expensive. The mo their blushes would run up to like $15 for Drugstar. So, um, this one was originally $12 something, but, um, sorry, I took, um, but I remember how much it was. It was um, $6.34, and this is the um, light bronzer. I tried to look for the dark one, but I couldn't really, f I couldn't find it. Isn't that pink heart gorgeous? It's so cute. So yeah, go check and see if your Target has this stuff on clearance because that's really good. Um, I'm getting confused. Okay. And I got this vitamin stick. This was on clearance as well. It was only $2. And this is the focus one. This is the pink one that I always get for vitamin water. And I'm starting to love it more than my Carmix. It's so smooth and just moisturizing. Smells like a Jelly Rancher. Um, 
But yeah, and it has SPF 20 in it, which is really good for summer. Even though summer's about to be over in like, what, September? <laughs> and that's next month. That's crazy. Um, and then I was so excited when I saw this because I've been searching for it. Because, you know, I'm a neutral girl. I love my neutral colors. And then um, this is the Vanity Quad from Wet n Wild. It's the, one, the neutral one with like gold in it. I was so happy that I finally found this. Um, I will definitely do a look for you guys on this. I'll do like a school look with this for a school look using non-expensive makeup or drugstore makeup, you know? And then I needed a new eyeliner and this is the Define a Line from Maybelline. It is kind of expensive, but to me, I love it. I don't care. It's so good. It glides on so easily. It's long lasting. It has a smudger at the end that I really don't use yet because I don't really get the feel of it. Um, but yeah, it's, I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> And then I got just this um, Made for Mocha eyeshadow from Maybelline to use for my brows because when I do my brows, I mix brown and black, brown and black, and it's so, such a hassle for me to do that. So I just got this so it'll be a lot easier. Sorry, the dogs, they keep barking up a storm. So sorry. Um, but yeah, I think that was everything. I didn't want this video to be too long. Um, but I know we did ask questions on my hair, and yes, I will do a separate video on it because I have to rebleach it because there's this ugly brass color in it that I really need to get out. But I'm letting my hair breathe. I'm letting it breathe so that it won't like fall off on me. <laughs> and then also, I want to let you guys know that I'm going to be doing a Seven Deadly Sins series. Me doing different looks for the Seven Deadly Sins. Yeah, I'm still debating if I want to do them on models or just on myself or some on models and some on me. I don't really know yet but um yeah I don't want to get interrupted in this video so I will talk to you guys next time bye